Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial about syncing handheld contact API. I have a client that needed to learn a little bit about this so I decided to record a tutorial that would help him out. So this is it. So when you're syncing handheld contact, well first of all you've got to have handheld contact on one of your mobile devices. And when you have handheld contact on your mobile device, there are different types of handheld contact. I'm not going to go into great detail here on the differences. Suffice, suffice to say, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach back to me. I'd be more than happy to answer those. But today we are going to be talking about what I refer to as handheld contact green or handheld contact API. This software allows you to have handheld contact on multiple devices. Now, once you have it on multiple devices and you've decided you want to sync your contacts, you're going to click on the icon to open up handheld contact on your device. And then when you open it, you're going to see your dashboard or what you might refer to as a home screen. And up just to the left of my arrow is a little sync icon. It's a circular arrow. Well, what you do is you simply click on that. And when you do that, this is what you're going to see, a new window that pops up. Down on the bottom, you're going to click on Sync Now. Now that will bring in all of your information. Having stated that, sometimes you might want to download all of your information completely again. So this will bring in certain changes, but you might want to just download everything one more time. And to do that, you'll notice that up in the top right hand corner, there are three dots and when you click on those dots you'll see this option called download all by clicking on that you will download all of your contacts and all of your information again on that note when you get all of your contacts into handheld contact you might want to move them over to the address book for example on your iPhone and the reason you'd want to do that is if someone calls you you want to see their caller ID pop up on the screen. And the caller ID is based on the address book on your phone. And also, there are certain aspects of using a tool such as an iPhone that only work based on the contacts in the address book on the iPhone, or what's referred to as the native app or application, the contacts. So to do that, this is how you manage that this is something that has to be done manually so again back on the dashboard if you look down at the bottom right hand screen you're going to see an arrow that faces up a white arrow in a green circle click on that with your finger now you'll see this box over on the right hand side pop up and you'll see the option to import and export contacts click on that so after you click on that this is your option, Contacts Export. Click on that. This is what you'll see. You have four options. You can export your, all your contacts. If you want, you can update your exported contacts. You can delete all the contacts that were added by handheld contact, or you can delete all the contacts. Now, the reason you might want to delete all your contacts is because you want to start fresh, and you only want to have the contacts that are in ACT on your phone. So now they go from Mac to handheld contact to the address book on your phone. When you click on export contacts, this is the box you will see and it reminds you that if you have multiple ways of getting those contacts in your address book on your device, you might have some duplicates. So these are some of the intricacies of working with this type of tool. Click OK and you'll bring all your contacts over. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get all your contacts out to handheld contact from ACT and then from handheld contact into your native address book. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach back to me. Thank you very much. Be well, my friends.